When you think of volcanoes, you probably think of hot, molten lava. Well, this week, we're going to the opposite end of the temperature spectrum, initiating a volcanic reaction out of ice. Now, here's a breakdown of the simple ingredients that you'll need. Now, if you're a fan of our weekly science segment, you probably already have some leftover baking soda and vinegar. Now, in this case, you'll also need a pie tin as well. I actually found these mini pot pie pan tins that worked really well. These are only a buck fifty, so we could basically be the Marie Callender's of making volcanoes. Also, you probably already have some leftover food coloring. Feel free to use this as an extra option as well. So let's get started. Step one, we're gonna be putting a couple of tablespoons of baking soda into one of the pie tins. Set that down over there. My magic number for at least the smaller pie tins is about two tablespoons. All right. And then I have some warm water here, so I'm gonna fill up the rest of my pie tin with, with the warm water. And then we're gonna mix it around a little bit. We're gonna stir up some of that baking soda so it starts to, to dissolve a little bit more. All right. This is also the opportunity where you can add in the food coloring. We haven't used blue in a little while, so we could drop a few things of blue into our volcano because, I mean, ice volcano, wouldn't that be cool to be blue? The next thing you're gonna have to do is make it cold. In fact, putting it in the freezer. So what I did was actually I took this and put it in my freezer overnight so that way it had enough time to freeze completely. All right, now that our pie tin has completely frozen over, we actually took a few more, made a few more, I did forget to put food coloring in this one, um, but give it a second to kind of thaw out. So just leave it at room temperature for a few minutes. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop it out of the pie tin, just like that. And voila, you have your baking soda volcano. Now what have we done with the lemons? What have we done with the pumpkins? We add vinegar to activate that reaction. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fill up this squirt bottle with some of the vinegar. And you know what, for fun, we're gonna, we're gonna add in some color to the, to the vinegar. What, we'll some, some pink, red. So, that leaves the final step, activating your ice volcano. The chemical reaction that's going on right now is that acidic vinegar mixing in with that baking soda. Again, this reaction, basically making carbon dioxide out of the baking soda and the vinegar mixing. Also, fun fact, Save your Halloween candy, especially for next week's episode of Science with Sean, reporting in the first science lab. I'm meteorologist Sean Bailey.